All I remember is hearing the glass shatter, and then immediately after that, I hear him, you know, yelling, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Somebody help me!" After accidentally shattering the glass, Andrew Carrillo nearly severed his arm, and he was bleeding out. His arm was barely attached to his body. I saw his arm nearly cut off, and uh, so I knew the napkins wouldn't get it do. I just begged him for my life and to see my son again, and it reassured me the whole time. You know, stay with me, stay conscious. Calm under pressure, Nathan Johnson took his shirt off and used it as a tourniquet on Andrew's arm. He provided life-saving aid until EMTs arrived. Blood was everywhere. Usually I don't do good with blood, like it makes me tend to faint, but in that situation, you know, my adrenaline was going. There's no doubt in my mind that if Nathan wasn't there, that I would have died right there. I was having trouble focusing. For 24 hours, Johnson didn't know if Carrillo had lived until the police called to thank him. Now he can smile knowing his newfound friend survived. One of the last things he said before they put him in the ambulance, he was like, I'll get you a new shirt. I said, don't even worry about it.